to me, it's really amazing that uh, encountering this convention of deer, it was like a convention. There's bucks, there's does, there's fawns, they're bedded down. This is fall hunting season, and for most part, all you should be able to see is the deer as they're taking off like shot out of a gun because they're scared. It's like they know that when you're with a camera, you mean them no harm. And it's not only deer. In the last few years, Cindy and I have encountered so many different wildlife that have not exhibited any fear. I mean, one time we're sitting on a picnic bench and a doe walked by maybe 10 feet away from us, minding its own business. And all we're doing is photographing and filming it. It it was just amazing. So... I love nature and wildlife, and these are some of the close-ups we have taken in the last while. There's one lying down in the bushes there. You can just see his ears. I came across this grouse September 30th and again uh, I'm leaving the film unedited and uh, it it was just amazing you're you're out there in the wilderness you're wandering around you see a bird and rather than flush and fly away or run away or hide it starts eating feeding like it blew me away I mean like it's just totally ignored me And, and at this point I was probably about 15 feet away from it, 5 meters, if that. And uh, it was just amazing. Even when you make noise to get its attention to turn around and maybe face a camera, it just goes about its business, like not caring. June 3rd, we're up by Myra Canyon, and there's these little golden mantle squirrels, I think is what they're called. Again, they're wild. We always have a little bit of food with us for uh, birds and stuff, so Cindy put her hand out with some of the seeds in it, and by George, a little guy comes over and starts eating out of her hand. I mean, it's like he's hand-trained. 